as you see, I got my political hat on again. Anybody keeping up with what's going on in the Ukraine? Here we go again. Except this time, we're, we're picking a fight with somebody that has nukes. A lot of them. So, I'd say the EMP threat is a major thing. What if Russia accidentally, on purpose, lost a couple of their medium-range missiles to uh, Al-Qaeda? Al-Qaeda's still there. Not a, a couple, you know, five or six. And I'm sure that uh, Hezbollah or all them would love to get a container ship and launch a EMP attack against Europe. Let's say uh, they launch one over Europe, a couple over the United States, over Japan, uh, maybe even one over India. They're, any country that's highly dependent on technology. You know, of course, seeing that it's not a ground blast, uh, there wouldn't be any fallout, so we wouldn't be able to really tell where it, the actual bombs came from. You know, it'd be just an EMP attack. And the United States is totally dependent on the microchip. We, we are like helpless without it here. So we are at greater danger now. Uh, and, and, you know, I feel sorry for the people over there in U Ukraine, but that's like, kind of like um, Mexico uh, having a civil war down there. Uh, do you think that we would not jump over there and do something? You got to admit, the Ukraine is right on Russia's border. Russia has a military installation there in the Ukraine. So, yeah, they're not doing anything that we wouldn't do. So, uh, I don't think we have any real business in the Ukraine. And Russia of today is not the same Russia it was back when the original Cold War was. So, let's say Russian troops do run into the Ukraine. What's going to happen? You know, what, what, what is really going to... Could things improve for the people there? They may have an improvement in quality of life, for all we know. I think we ought to mind our own business when it comes to the Ukraine, because that is Russia's back door. And, uh, you know, we've already got enough people hating on us, you know, because our government, face it, they've made enemies of their own people, their own public. Here in our own, in, in the country is angry at, the at our own government. I mean, we've got a viral government that's it's got its own people, uh, its own citizenry mad at them. We got most of the world mad at us. You know, we we've got a Federal Reserve. I mean, it's it, it's an out of control government, and they are going to destroy us, and they're going to take us down with them. So yeah, uh, you best get your stuff your. Uh, sensitive electronics if you have any spare stuff put it in a Faraday cage uh, because in, within the next couple of years you know if we keep messing with them Russia will like I say accidentally on purpose lose some medium range missiles and all they got to do is get a couple hundred miles off our coastline a couple hundred miles off of the uh, what do you call it uh, European coast China you know about five or six of those things you know, just time it so they all go off at the same time. The American public won't know what to do. I mean, we want uh, all you'll know is all the cars and trucks and televisions and your phones all of a sudden just go. Pink. And if they get rut, if they get Europe and England and China and uh, not China but uh, Japan, all all the allied countries at the same time, there ain't nobody gonna come help nobody. Because we are, we have become totally, absolutely dependent on the microchip. There's nobody here that could live without it. And uh, within a few months after that, we couldn't resupply our own military. 
you know, our uh, reserves would be gone. The military reserves. So there you go, folks. Here's our next catastrophe. It may not be a collapse. It, it could be a collapse of the dollar. It could be, uh, you know, Russia's got a lot of nukes. And their CIA version of the CIA, or I don't know what they call it now, KGB or whatever, they're just as powerful as our CIA. So, you know, like I say, a few medium-range missiles go missing. They don't have to be long-range. They could be the small ones, the tactical, you know, stuff. Goes off 300 miles in our atmosphere. Pfft. You and me are screwed. Some of us are screwed more than others. But uh, at least I got a year's supply of body fat to live off of. What are you, all you healthy health nuts, you little skinny folks, going to live off of?